welcome to this video. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and those who left those wonderful comments for me. Thank you very much. So I'll continue to make this video series and uh, I hope you enjoy it. In this video, we'll be continuing work on the rear Y section of the chassis. Specifically, we'll be working on the rear shock absorber mounts and the rear crossbar. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. This is the rear Y section of the chassis with the rear crossbar and the rear shock absorber mounts. This bar would have been welded to the mounts themselves, but I cut the bar from the mounts because it's very rusted, it has been repaired very badly and it's crooked. So this will go in the bin. The shock absorber mounts themselves are pretty good. So I will be replacing the original U channel with a, a box section. This will be a lot stiffer but will be a little bit heavier. One of the jobs on the rear suspension that's a real pain is removing the crossbar. It's bolted to the chassis with two bolts on either side and you have to put the nuts in from the rear of the chassis but because of the bolt holes are very close to the bends in the chassis it's very difficult to get a wrench on them so it can take quite a long time. My solution is I'll be welding nuts to the back of the chassis so I won't have to put a wrench in the back every time I can just pull the crossbar on. To facilitate me welding the nuts on the back of the chassis I will be removing these strengthening plates these have to be removed anyway because as with the engine mount plates there's a, a bit of rust between those two plates and I like to remove it and then weld it back on. While the plates off I have better access to the back of the chassis to weld those nuts on. One of the other improvements that I'll make is I'm going to make the rear crossbar removable without having to remove the shock absorber mounts. Originally if you had a problem with your engine or your gearbox and you had to remove it, you had to put the car onto jack stands, remove the wheels, remove the complete rear suspension, so you can remove the shock absorbers from the rear mounts, then you can unbolt the crossbar and then you can take the engine out. So with my solution you can just remove the rear crossbar and the shocks will still be attached to the rear shock mounts which will still be bolted to the chassis. So you can leave the car standing on its wheels for the entire time and this will save you a lot of time and a lot of trouble if you have to remove the engine or the gearbox in the future. So what you can see here is the inside of the rear chassis. This is the strengthening plate that I removed to gain access to the back of the bolt holes. These are the two bolt holes where the rear shock mount and the crossbar will mount to. But what you can see here is a little surprise. This is a strengthening plate that has been added later because um, there are some cracks here and my guess is it would, would have been cracking along the joint between these two parts of the chassis. So there's one plate here and one plate here and I'll leave them in place because they strengthen up the rear part very good. The other side of the chassis doesn't have these strengthening plates. So I've made these strengthening plates myself and I'll attach them to the other side of the chassis because if this side has failed the other side will too. Here you can see the two mounting holes for the shock mount. This is the original nut that you had to get in here from the rear, use your wrench and tighten it but it's very difficult because it's very close to the edge. This is a new nut that I will be welding to the back of the chassis. It's not a nylock nut because if you weld a nylock nut to the chassis, chances are because of the heat the nylon will melt and seep out. So I'll be using a regular nut to weld on the back so you won't have any problems attaching the shock mounts. The strengthening plate that I removed has a bit of rust on it so this will go in the bin and I made these they're an exact copy of the ones that I took off 
So this will will replace the original ones. This nut is also zinc plated. I ground off the zinc plating on the sides to make it easier for welding. So as you can see, I've welded the nuts on the back of the chassis and I've cleaned off most of the rust on the inside of the chassis. I've done this because once the plates weld back on, it's very hard to reach this spot. Now before I will weld this plate back on, I will spray these surfaces and the back of the contact points of the strengthening plate with the zinc spray because the areas in between the plates have to be painted before it's welded. Now I'm going to mask off the areas of the chassis that I'm not going to spray with the zinc spray because I don't want too much overspray on the inside of the chassis or on the threads of the nuts. Faith to restate my peace made a peace may break and bleed space on my clean slate. Well, it's apologies of Trillo off the wall, gave my body, soul, and mind. And then I messed it up to y'all. When they make a blow up, they can build statues from me. This is the other side of the chassis and you can see I've welded in these plates on this side and the other side. These are the new ones that I made myself. I've also welded in the two nuts on this side of the chassis. Another modification that I've made is that I've welded in these two strengthening plates. These reinforce the joint between these two pieces of sheet metal. On the other side of the chassis these plates will, were already welded in. My guess is that they've been welded in once the, those cracks start to appear. So now that I've done all this work, I've welded in the same style of plates on this side of the chassis, one on the top and one on the bottom. These reinforce the inside of these joints between these two pieces of sheet metal. And I hope this will prevent those cracks from reappearing. So now it's time to make our rear crossbar. I've already measured and cut the box section to size and I've made some spacers and some shims to support the crossbar at the right height that it needs to be welded to. I've already told you that I would like to have the crossbar made removable separately from the shock mounts and I'm still planning to do that but I haven't figured out what's the best way to do it. So for now I'm just going to weld the crossbar to the shock mounts and I can still make a section removable afterwards. So I put the chassis on the ground to make sure everything was stable before I welded in this crossbar. I've put some sockets on both sides to act as spacers and used a level to make sure everything was straight. I've tacked in the crossbar to the shock mounts on the tops and the sides to minimize warping. Now I'll take the crossbar off the chassis and I'll weld everything on my workbench. With the structures of my not six sound, I spent months and they turn into years, man. How could I see them clearly looking with these tears, fam? No, never again, never would I pretend. Whether it's for a million, whether it's for like ten. Cause see, I'm learning that everything is the best. By everything, no, I'm meaning about everything that I stress. Uh, I'm flipping negative, flipping it in my mind. So I've just finished welding in this crossbar and I'm very pleased with this result. I'm still thinking about making a section of this crossbar removable to make the engine installation easier but I'm not quite sure because I like this clean look of the crossbar. Well, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next videos we'll continue working on the chassis and some of the suspension parts. I've been slowly accumulating a lot of parts for the suspension and the engine mounts but I'll show you this in the upcoming videos. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website. If there are any questions 
or if you have any requests on what you would like me to show you on my videos, please leave a comment below or send me an email through my website. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Quiet. I want to do quiet. I want to do quiet.